Hey guys! So, every time that I curl my hair and like post a TikTok or post an Instagram photo when my hair is curled, I get so many comments asking how I curl my hair and it's kind of crazy. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you guys specifically how I curl my hair and like what I do to get it to look like this. This is the curling iron that I use. I got it from Target and it is $30. It is the Infinity Pro by Con Air and it's a very nice curler and this is the one that I always use when I curl my hair. As the curler is heating up before we start curling the hair, I want to answer a few other questions you guys ask all the time. You guys always ask what products I use in my hair. There's absolutely no secret. <laughs> All I use is Pantene shampoo and conditioner. And I know some people say Pantene is really bad for your hair, but I've always used it since I was like a little girl. I've never had a problem with it and I just never changed the products I've been using in my hair. I don't use serums and I don't use oils. I simply just use shampoo and conditioner every time that I get in the shower. Another question you guys always ask is how I get my hair so long. That's how long my hair is. It's right at the waistband of my shorts and they're high-waisted. So it's pretty long. But you guys have to keep in mind that I haven't cut my hair in a year. Last time I cut my hair was last summer and it looked like this. <gasps> I absolutely hated my hair short and never cut it since. So I haven't even got like a little trim for my dead ends. I've simply just let it be and let it grow. <laughs> The curling iron is heated up, but before I get started with curling my hair, I always spray Tresemme hairspray in my hair. My hair does not like to hold curls at all, so with hairspray, it helps a little bit. So I just spray enough all over my hair, and then after I just brush it out so it's a little bit smoother. So I part my hair in the middle when I start curling my hair. I also do not section off my hair. A lot of people will do this method. I find it a lot harder for me to curl my hair when I'm sectioning like 10 pieces off all the time. I simply just curl my hair like this. I just find it a lot easier for me because it also is a shorter time and it's just easier to maintain all of it at once. So I take my first piece and it's usually this. I start in the front because it's easier for me. But this is the most important piece. So if you want to create that effect I do with my hair, you need to curl away from your head. So I take this piece, curling iron in my right hand, I put it behind my hair and I curl like this. And then I just wrap it around the curling iron. So my hair is going away from my head. If that makes sense, I have no idea. So I just hold it on there for like 15 seconds because this is a bigger section. Like on tinier sections, it's about 10 seconds. And then there is the curl. It won't look like this when we're done, but I just leave it as is for now. So next section, you're gonna do the same thing. Curl away from your head. So I put the curling iron behind the hair and then I wrap around. Voila! <laughs> there are both the curls. So it's not gonna look like this at the end, I promise. <laughs> Just leave those and don't touch them. All I do is repeat the same process over and over with each curl. Okay, so that's what all the curls look like. Now I'm gonna hairspray them. So now that I'm done with this side, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna let it be. I put it behind the shoulder and then I start curling this side. So I'm going to be repeating the same process, but this side's a little different because you're curling away from your head, but on this side. So now I hold the hair in my right hand and I use the curling iron in my left hand. So I still put the curling iron behind the hair and then just wrap around like so. Here's what it looks like on the curling iron. You can see that it's going away from my head. And then there's the curl. <laughs> and then you're just going to keep repeating the same exact thing over and over again. Instead of you guys just watching me curl my hair, I posted a story on my Instagram asking you guys to ask me questions so we can just talk, you know? <laughs> so someone asked, who is my favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is definitely David Dobrik. I absolutely love him so much, but he hasn't posted a YouTube video in like four months ever since quarantine happened. Kind of depressing, so like 
I don't really watch YouTube anymore because <laughs> that's all I used to watch was him. And then sometimes the Dolan twins, Emma Chamberlain, most iconic people, you know? Next question, where do you shop for your clothes? So I like to go to PacSun. American Eagle, Hollister, just like the basic places, I guess. I would love to shop at Princess Polly, but their stuff is kind of expensive. This is a very good question. Someone asked, what would have been your name if you were a boy? My mom has a thing for E's, obviously, because my sister's is Ellie. So she said if she were to have a boy, she would have named him Elijah. <laughs> so I'm guessing if I were a boy, that I think that would be my name. So my name would have been Elijah if I was a boy. Kind of crazy. You know, Elijah Michelson, uh. <laughs> Next question is, if you could do another sport other than cheer, what would it be and why? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I did cheer for so long. It's like, I never thought of like doing any other sport, but since I don't do it now, I've always thought about doing track or volleyball. Next question is, what is your favorite Netflix series and movie? Um, oh my gosh. My favorite Netflix series is definitely The Vampire Diaries. Literally the best show on planet Earth. Like if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Oh, and then my favorite movie, probably The Notebook or Love, Rosie. Those are two very good romantic movies if you're into that type of stuff. I also like All the Bright Places. I love the story behind that one. Ooh, this is a good question. Someone asks, what has been my favorite vacation so far? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Honestly, it's either going to be Mexico or Montana, but I'm leaning towards Montana because that was probably the most fun I've had in my whole lifetime. I went a week without no phone service. Like sometimes we had Wi-Fi and that was okay, but like I wasn't stuck to my phone. It was literally such a fun trip. So I just finished curling all of my hair. Here they are. Very curly, I know. Obviously the curls look a little ratchet, but that's what we brush them out for. So I just go in and brush them out so they look a little bit nicer. So this is what I do all the time. Just watch. That's all I do. <laughs> so I constantly run my fingers through my hair like that. Like I really don't know how to explain it. That's all you have to do is like, I like pull it out from the side and then just push the hair forward. And then it creates this like voluminous look. So here is the finished product. This is how I curl my hair. It took me about 40 minutes. I do have a lot of hair, so that's why it takes me a long time. And I also didn't section off my hair, but it would have taken me longer if I sectioned off my hair. I did like piece by piece. But anyways, that's all I do. <laughs> all done. I'm really happy with it. It looks super good. So the most important thing to take from my curling hair tutorial is just to curl away from your head because it will give you this look. So yeah, that's all that I do. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see y'all back with more videos. Bye guys. Bye.